Jeff, what is it that you are most proud of in your life? Well, one of the most uh, things that I'm proud of in my life is that I can go out and advocate for other folks and um, making sure that they understand their rights and responsibilities uh, to make just kind of make sure that they uh, understand what's going on around them, not just within the system, but also in their communities and their uh, roundabouts. Okay. Um, and what did it take for you to get there, for you to kind of have that sense of, of help helping others? Uh, to be honest with you, how, to, how, how that really helped me is that, you know, I was once in uh, some of the individual shoes myself. You know, I was diagnosed with a, a disorder and also with intellectual disability that, you know, and I also had mentors in schools and all that that, that helped me to get to where I'm at to be able to advocate for myself. So I just tried to give that back to others that was gave to me. Okay, yeah, that's, you always gotta give back. Um, going forward in your future, is what is it that you wish you could do most? Oh, I tell you, one of the things that I wish most is that I've, uh, you know, someday, uh, you know, become a senator or a congressman or, you know, be on a city council somewhere to be able to uh, help others that are in need, you know, but not just myself, but those that are really, you know, needing help so they'll be able to understand and know uh, what's going on in political, on the federal, state, and local level. You know, most of us that have mental illness or some type of disability doesn't understand uh, some of the policies that are being made are just for them. You know, they don't they don't know the ins and outs about what what's really happening un until you know it, it's been put in effect. You know. Sure. Um, and then the follow up to that is, what would it take for you to get there to achieve that? that level of, of, I, of I, civil I, service. I, I think what, what, what helped me get there is, 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 you know, going to college, which I am doing that right at this moment as I speak, uh, you know, getting more educated on a lot of the policy making and also, you know, talking with, you know, those that are, you know, are put in office to uh, make sure that the laws and policy are being followed up on. So I think that that's the most thing is more education, you know, and, and to know more about, you know, the policy that are being put in place, you know, f for those that are making, you know, the policies, the rules, regulations, not just for those with disability, but also those that don't have a disability, you know. So I, I think that's the, that's the key is education. Sure. And um we talked about this before we got here, but your your kind of general broad definition for self advocacy and you know how how maybe you interpret it versus others and and maybe the best way to define it. You know, I, I look at how to define self advocate is where you be able to stand up for yourself than somebody doing it for you uh, and speaking up for yourself and also you know being independent, being responsible. And, and, and taking, you know, criticism, you know, and, you know, just know how to uh, get out there and be independent. And I think that's one of the key things that are missing, you know, for, for most of us that, you know, in general, we, we don't, you know, we, well, some of us wasn't, didn't have the skills, uh, you know, the education or anything about how to get out there and advocate for ourselves. You know, and I think that's one of the things that that's what self advocate really means is that you're you're putting yourself before your disability. You don't put your disability before you. And that's one of the things that I like about people first. You know, is that you know we put our disability. We don't put our disability before us. We put ourselves before the disability because you shouldn't have to be defined by your disability in everyday life just because you out there trying to make a difference, it's not just in your life, but in somebody else's life. So, I mean, you know, that's what self-advocates really mean is being, you know, uh, responsible, you know, uh, being independent. That, that's basically what it means. It's just getting out there, you know, you know, doing it. 